I know what you're thinking. Isn't that me? Isn't that me on the weekends? Well, most likely you're right. That's you on the weekends. Scrolling on the timeline at your phone, ordering food online, and also probably watching Netflix or YouTube. But don't worry, you're not alone. That's also my lifestyle and also almost everyone's lifestyle. The advancement of technology, the rapid growing of the internet, and modern lifestyle has resulted into an inactive lifestyle, a sedentary lifestyle. The sedentary lifestyle itself has become a threat to people nowadays, especially youth, as physical inactivity has become proven to be the leading modifiable cause of death and disease worldwide. Physical inactivity has become a major cause of non-communicable diseases. For example, there's obesity, type 2 diabetes, cardiovascular diseases, and even mental health problems. Globally, one in four adults is not active enough. More than 80% of the world's adolescent population is insufficiently physically active. The drop in physical activity is partly due to inaction during leisure time, a sedentary behavior on the job and at home. Likewise, an increase in the use of passive modes of transportation also contributes to insufficient physical activity. From this data, the WHO has agreed to reduce insufficient physical activity by 10% by 2025. So, what is actually physical activity? According to WHO, physical activity includes exercise as well as other activities which involve bodily movement and are done as part of playing, working, active transportation, carrying out household, traveling, and recreational activities. The intensity of different physical activity would be varies among people. By becoming more active, we should know the benefit of physical activity. There are improved muscular and cardiorespiratory fitness, improved bones and function health, reduce the risk of hypertension and other non-communicable diseases, reduce the risk of falls as well as a hip or vertebral fractures, and also fundamental to energy balance and weight control. That's why increasing physical activity is a societal, not just an individual problem. Therefore, it demands a population-based, multi-sectoral, multidisciplinary, and also culturally relevant approach. Having a message to be delivered to young people means we need to actively voice it out. The most effective way of voicing it out is to speak through their language, the language of passion and interest that is channeled through communities. So our main solution to combat this problem is through establishing a campaign of physical activity among young people in Jakarta. We choose Jakarta as our model city because Jakarta is the capital and the largest city in Indonesia, making it as one of the alpha cities in the world. Its population is around 10 million people, with 36.2% of its population is categorized as young adults aged 15 to 34, showing that rapid urban growth is a challenge in Jakarta. Our campaign, Move to Inspire, promotes physical activity in Jakarta young people through the usage of social networking site for intervention. We have two main objectives, which are to raise awareness about physical activities and to engage communities of young people to be physically active. At the end of this program, young people are expected to be more physically active in their everyday lives. We also expect to successfully establish a network of communities that encourages people to do more physical activity. Move to Inspire are divided into four kinds of activities. Those activities are daily, weekly, monthly, and annual activities. For daily activities, we have Instagram posts with the hashtag Move to Inspire with different themes that cover various interests among young people. For weekly activities, we provide programs for people to participate in joining the Garfield Day and Museum Walk. Those activities are presented in themes such as arts and culture, sports and travel, science, environment and technology, and animal loving. For monthly activities, we are going to have training for physical activities like yoga class and Zumba class. For annual activities, we are going to have marathons and video competitions. Those activities are designed to provide all kinds of people to participate and collaborate. Because in Move to Inspire, we believe every community is a movement and every movement inspires. 
Since the move to inspire movement has been established, we would assume that we also have established partnership with communities of young people interest. With the relationship that we have, we can keep this movement going as our community partners. These communities partners will also give ideas and events that would also promote physical activity. If possible, we would also like to collaborate with Jakarta's government, especially Department of Youth and Sports. We would like to emphasize Jakarta's young people that move to inspire is an open and inclusive movement, so everyone can join. I'm going to explain move to inspire's timeline. These activities will start from June in the first year. Previously, we will conduct the survey about media platform choices and physical activity interest for young people in the first week of June. Then, we will generate the social media account and also formulate the content ideas. Next, from July until December, we also build the collaboration with communities that related to physical activity. Then, we will start these activities routinely from January until December 2020. We will launch the social media account in January 2020. Every April 6 in the second year, third year, and so on, we will conduct the yearly activities to celebrating World Physical Activity Day by holding the marathon run for charity. We will conduct the evaluation in every last year. In the third year, we also do the same as in the second year, and hopefully we always do in the next year, and so forth. There are a few ways where we could measure our impact, and we would like to measure our impact through the usage of our social media interaction. We're going to use three social media platforms, which are Facebook, Twitter, and also Instagram. Through these social media platforms, we're going to use the features of polling, reply sections, and also fan sites in order to do pop quizzes and also to gain feedbacks from our followers. Don't forget to use the hashtag move to inspire Next, we're going to explain move to inspires budgeting plan. The budgeting plan has four columns, category, cost, quantity of product or service, and also total. The budgeting plan consists of annual event, monthly event accommodation, weekly event accommodation, technical surveys, website maintenance, competition prices, and also adver advertisement. And for the total, it's going to cost $29,940. US So we've reached the end of our video, and I'm pretty sure that you're sitting when watching this video. Now, why don't you stand up and do some physical activity that you like? Just go tidy your room or maybe just take a walk outside? Because health starts from you and every movement is fire.